Why, hello. Later today, I have to go to Lowe's, and I hate Lowe's. Uh, I used to work there. I was a paint guy and an outside guy and delivery guy for a while. But uh, anyway, you can't get good customer service nowadays at Lowe's, and that's probably because I'm not there. You see, whenever I was at Lowe's, uh, one of the best things I ever did, it was on Valentine's Day, actually, uh, there was a uh, pipe bridge. Now, I don't know if you've ever seen a pipe bridge. Some of you folks are probably from cities and stuff. But a pipe bridge is pretty much like how it sounds. It's a uh, bridge that crosses a span that's made out of pipes. There's no dirt. There's no asphalt. Just pipes. And if you're afraid of heights, it kind of sucks. I'm a, I'm iffy on heights. It's one of those, if I'm like, can't see the ground real well, and then I'm a little afraid, like, like skyscraper shit scares me, but I can do cliffs. So anyway, back to this. So uh, we, the delivery truck uh, weighs a couple tons too much to cross this. So I uh, grab the uh, the dolly and we get the uh, washer on there and then we drag it. Uh, I drag it a mile and a, not a mile and a half, excuse me, a quarter mile down the road to. Uh... Anyway, so I, uh, I deliver this uh, washer and we hook it up and all that. And she was a cancer patient. So, you know, it worked out right. So that's good customer service, right? But there's also good customer service when you uh, have to refrain from murdering somebody from being stupid. So back in the paint department, we were we had an end cap that was set up or and it was uh, it was an oil based paint. Um, it was Rust-Oleum. So that's usually what they are. And if you don't know oil based and latex based, just know that oil is going to smell more chemically, right? Anyway, so this lady says, oh, this would be great on my door, you know, da, 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 da. I was like, yeah, that's that's what's made for. It's uh, outside paint made for doors. And so she buys it, you know, takes it home. And the next day I'm super busy and I'm, I'm taking care of the phones. And this lady goes, I, I answered the phone, you know, I'm like, uh, this paint department, how can I help you? And she goes, you and Lowe's is trying to kill me and my babies. And I'm like, excuse me? It's like, you heard me. Me, you and Lowe's is trying to kill me and my babies. And I'm like, I was helping uh, one of our weekend help people help somebody. I was like, excuse me for just a moment, guys. I'm probably going to get fired with this phone call. <laughs> and I walk around the corner. I'm like, what the hell did you say? He's like, oh, yes, this paint's so bad. It says it's got lead in it and and it stinks so bad. I've never smelt so bad to paint in my life. I, I, I just I didn't use all of it. And, you know, I can tell she's fishing for a refund because you can. Just the way people talk when they want a refund, they all fish towards it with a, uh, I didn't use it all, you know, as if that somehow qualifies them to keep, you know, the paint on their door and all that. But, you know, whatever, they, they refund shit. But anyway, so I'm like, okay, how is it trying to kill you and your babies again? It's like, there's lead in it. It says lead. And I, I'm like, lead paint hasn't been available in the U.S. since like the late 70s. I'm like, there's no way. I was like. Give me just a second. Let me read the back of this to you. And so I flip it around and on the back, it's got the usual, Hey, you know, if you've got a house that's over so many years old, you know, use a lead kit. So that way, you know, you don't fucking die, you know, heads up, bro. They don't have to put that on there. Right. But they're nice. They fucking put it on there. I mean, maybe the government makes it, but whatever. They don't have to fucking put it on there. Cause it's not lead fucking paint, but that's the only place where it says lead. So I read that to her four times each time. She's like, mm -hmm, okay, sure. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. And then finally she says, okay, so it's not lead. Well, can I still get a refund? This stuff stale. real, real bad. I'm like, ma'am, you're not supposed to be smelling it. I was like, where did you use it? She says, I, well, I used it on my door and then my wall. And I'm like, ma'am, that's an outside paint. You're not supposed to use it inside anyhow. And she's like, so you said I can't get a refund? I was like, no, no, you can't. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. Bye. Anyway. So the point is, is, uh, Customer service is hard to come by because customers are usually assholes. And when you're not an asshole customer, they're just so blown away that the fact that you're not an asshole, they can't handle it and can't serve you well. So uh, don't be an asshole and just expect bad service.